Do you want your Discord server set up as a community server with Discord server insights and an announcement channel where you can publish messages? Get this, straight into your following members' servers. Whether you have a Discord community server for indie game development such as Sky Knights and Hunternet Starfighter, both games which I can highly recommend by the way, so check out in the description below for a Steam link to Sky Knights as well as how to join the free alpha for Hunternet. Or whether it is for a Discord community server such as my Yogan's Domain Discord server covering a range of interests where we do monthly Nitro giveaways, have a great Discord support community, bot developers, gamers, creators and much more. Whatever your need, I'll show you how to have your Discord server set up to enable your Discord community server with server insights so that you have the information and statistics and the stats on hand to ensure you can grow and make a success of your Discord server. Welcome to Yoga's Domain of Great Games and Guides, where your likes help me grow, your subscribes ensure you're in the know, and your comments below are actually read and responded on. Sometimes. In order to have your Discord server set up with community server insights, there are a few things that need to be true. First, go to your Discord server settings. About halfway down is the community section. Select the Enable Community page and then click on Get Started. Discord wants community servers to be secure, friendly and for the most part respectful. So you'll need to meet the pre-requirements safety checks. Next, select your Rules channel and also the Community Updates channel. I generally set this to be my moderators channel so that all the moderators can get all the latest updates from Discord directly. Finally, to have a better experience for your members, select the mention select the mention suggestions option before you agree and finish the setup. Now take a moment to pat yourself on the back because your Discord server is now set to be a Discord community server and you'll have access to the announcement channel, the welcome screen, server insights, partner program and discovery sections. All of those sections are indexed in the description below if you want to quickly jump to a particular section you're interested in. I would suggest, however, to continue watching and get a good understanding of the overall feature set and have your Discord server setup be complete and accurate. Also, the longer you watch, you help me out with these videos and the YouTube algorithm, of course. Let's start with the welcome screen. Here you can add a quick intro to what your server is about and also be able to highlight some key channels you want new members to see when they join your server. Whatever you set up here will be the first thing they see. And you can only select channels which are visible to everyone. I tend to add the welcome page and the rules page, but you can also add your general channel and maybe other key channels such as your gaming or your support channels as well. You can also add icons to it, so be sure to make it all nice and pretty for those new members and then clicking on the preview button at the top will show you what they will be presented with when they join. Next we'll cover the partner program and discovery pages of the Discord community server settings. Both the partner program and discovery pages give you a set of milestones you need to reach before you are able to apply for the partner or enable discovery. The basic things to know is that your server needs to be an environment abiding by the Discord community guidelines which are aimed to keeping your server safe. Your server needs to be at least 8 weeks old, have no bad words in any of the server channel names or descriptions and you have to have two-factor authentication enabled in your moderator, for your moderators, not in your moderators, that would be a little bit... <clears throat> to enable two-factor authentication, that's the 2FA that you see there, you can go to your Discord server moderation page and ensure 2FA is enabled at the bottom. For the Discord partner program, you also need 500 members in your server and to enable discovery, you need 10,000 members at least. So these are certainly long-term goals. Now this is all well and good and even if you have these numbers, the tricky milestones to meet are the Discord server activity requirements. Which brings us to the next and probably the best section of having your Discord server set up as a community server 
and that is the server insights. The Discord server insights show you a brief snapshot of activity stats. But then, if you can click on this go to server insights button, you get presented with a wealth of information and analytics to help you understand your Discord server community activity. On the left hand side, we see sections for growth and activation, engagement, audience, announcement channel, welcome screen and partner program. The growth and activation is the key for monitoring, analyzing and modifying your Discord server in order to get people to come, stay and contribute to your Discord community server. All the key growth metrics are shown here and I'll be going over these in more detail in a future video which I'll link in the top right as soon as it's done. But for now there are two key metrics you need to be interested in. The activation and retention metrics. Activation means people who come to your server and have visited more than three channels. The retention metric shows you how many people joined your server and then stay in your server for at least a week. If you want to build a successful Discord community server, you'd want to work on getting your one week retention metric above the 20% benchmark. One thing to note, however, is that depending on the graph, it takes either one or two weeks to update. So if you do make a change, you might want to wait at least about three weeks before making another change. That way you can have a clear indication which effect the changes you made had on your Discord community server. You'll need to reach the retention benchmark in order to meet the Discord partner program milestone. The engagement page shows you an excellent information on your top performing channels, activity in your server, new visitors, counts and so forth. The audience page gives you a far greater understanding of where your members come from, which platforms they use Discord on, how long they stay in your server and if they are new to Discord as a whole. These demographics could help you better understand activity times, maybe even target your content or the way that you have your Discord server set up, when to make announcements and so forth. Talking of announcements, the announcement channel page gives you server insights on how many members are following your announcements channel and how big these servers are. All of this information should help you better understand your community in order to add the most value to your members. This is really the key thing that Discord wants is when you grow a community, you add value to the community. You can set up an announcement channel, by the way, by going to the channel you would like to have set up as an announcement channel, select edit, and then enable the announcement channel switch. Now, whenever you post a message in there, you'll have the option to publish the message. Once you publish a message, all servers who have followed this channel will get the message replicated into their server. Members who are administrators in other servers will also be able to come to these particular channels and click on the follow button on the bottom right and select where they want the posted messages to be displayed. Next we have the welcome screen section which gives you a breakdown on which of the pages you set up as your Discord server welcome pages and how popular they are. And finally, we have the partner program page listed on the bottom of the Discord server insights, which gives you a reminder of what you need to meet in order to hit the partner program milestones. It also shows you a week by week breakdown on the various metrics and if you are passing all of those requirements or not. So if you're serious about growing your Discord server, and you want your Discord server set up as a community server, one thing to realize is that it takes time to mold your server into something that is worth being a community server. If you get the basics right, you'll have more and more people in your server and you'll grow. Discord now gives you loads of information which can help you better understand your community. As a final tip, I'll tell you about a bot that will help you even more with your Discord server insights. But before I do that, I want to ask that you please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you found this interesting or useful. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. And come join Jochen's Domain Discord server community if you need help with anything along the way. Also, please remember to stick around for more than a week 
and help me make that partner program milestone. Active members also get automatically entered into the monthly Discord Nitro draw, so there's a real benefit and incentive for you to hang around and get to know the people and the awesome community. Now for that final tip, be sure to look into the description below for the links, but you definitely want to install StatBot into your server. I'll have a video on StatBot soon enough and I'll link it in here. But the sooner you have StatBot in your Discord server, the sooner it starts gathering data and the better server insights you'll have when you really want to use it. StatBot can give you server, channel and member drill downs and helps a lot in understanding the strengths and the weaknesses of your Discord community server. Come back next time for more on server insights and thank you for watching. Yoken out.